guys, what's going on? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be how to depot a ColourPop palette. Today I'm going to teach you how to depot a ColourPop palette. They're normal ones, whatever. And I am just super excited because like I have thoroughly enjoyed depotting them. I showed you that I depotted um, two of them before. Well, in another video and you guys wanted to know how. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, today's video is sponsored by All One, who provided the magnetic palette for today's video, and I want to thank them so much for that. So, let's jump into it. So, all you're going to need to depot a palette is the palette itself. I'm going to use the Femrosa uh, She Palette, and I'm probably going to depot my Think I Love You palette too, just to put them both in the magnetic palette. You're going to need a nail file. There are options where you can cause heat. Um, to your palette to get them out, but that causes a lot of damage to the shadows. You can also use different techniques like floss for things that aren't magnetic, but ColourPop are the absolute easiest things to depot. So all I need is a nail file, your palette, and then a magnetic palette. So for this one, I already own one of their palettes like this because it's very, very strong magnetic. I feel like if it isn't good quality under here, then it could fall out and you might lose your shadows because they are singles now. They're not embedded into something. So make sure you pick something with a nice, uh, good reviews, actually magnetic, not just holding it like that. You don't have to pick anything with a mirror. A lot of them don't have a mirror, but I'm glad this one does. And it's also a really good size, so I think I might even be able to put three palettes in this big palette. My normal uh, magnetic palettes are smaller. So let's get started depotting this thing. Now, first I want to mention that sometimes when you buy a palette, a magnetic palette, they have these little things, these little magnetic-y things with stickers on them so you can label the shadows after you pull them out. Most people don't actually end up labeling them. They might just label it with the brand on it. But for me, because I am a YouTuber, I label it with, um, I'll just show you what I label it with. Okay, so my things are labeled very crappily. I didn't end up putting stickers or anything on the bottom of these. I just wanted to label them because I am a YouTuber. I have to label them very specifically so I know what palette it came from, what brand it is, and what shade name is. So this is one I depotted. We'll see if we can read it. It just says CP and then it says Yes Please. So it's ColourPop Yes Please palette and then the shade is Butter Cake. I put the shade name in parentheses so I'll know that is the name of the shade. For things like Do You Have Me a Hello palette, I just put Y. H blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I'm gonna get up close to you now and we're gonna depot this thing together okay so here we have our little palette we're gonna put it in our Z palette and as you can see this is like super nice quality it's very shiny and uniform and pretty and then this is where we're gonna put our shadows so we're gonna take the palette and you may be thinking why put them in a bigger palette it does save a lot of space when you have more than one palette depotted into a magnetic palette so I'm going to take my little nail file. Mine is a little girl and I got it from Sally's for like 30 cent. I was like super excited by it. And these are just like very soft like cardboard palettes. So you just, you see the little ring around the shadow. I'm just going to press and scoop it up. So again, just press right outside the ring. You can kind of scoop under it and pull it out. Now what I'll do is the bottom's always dirty. I'll just take a baby wipe. Clean off the bottom. And then take a little sharpie and write the name of the shade underneath here. But I won't write all the names of the shades until after they're all in the palette. And I'll put them in the same order that they came in. So there's our first shadow. Put them in the same order, that way you can just go through and lift them up and write them all down after you have this palette empty. And I'm just going to repeat that step a million times. Okay, so I'm done depotting this. 
it's actually very satisfying to see this empty. And this might be a small palette, but it's very thick. This Z palette holds a lot of shadows and it's very thin. So I can like stack three of these and save space because it's not quite as thick as the ColourPop one. Might get a little bit dirty from all the shadows, but that's how you depot a ColourPop palette. Okay guys, so obviously I still have to go back in and write the names of the shades on them, but then I can throw this away and I'm super excited. This thing is very pretty. I like a clean look and I like things that are thin. Yes, it's bigger than the ColourPop palette, but having a whole stack of these takes up more room than just putting like three in one of these magnetic palettes. Anyways, I want to thank All One again for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys learned something. If you want me to depot a different kind of palette, like not a ColourPop one, you want one that's not magnetic, you want one that's kind of stuck in the palette, let me know. I'll certainly do it for you. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. I'll leave their link down below. Bye! Alright, so I officially depotted the I Think I Love You palette as well, and put them both in this palette. This one looks so pretty. It's super satisfying. Like, I kept... I mean, I've hit these throughout the time. This one came broken in the palette. But look how pretty. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this video. And we'll depot something of your own.